Welcome ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching, my name is Josh and today we're going to count up the top 5 thrift store finds we found this week. Another entry, we've got some cool stuff, some pretty old stuff, so let's get into this look. So garage sale season has begun. We've hit up a few, not been super great to be honest, a uh, handful of good stuff. Uh, but we did get a couple things this week from garage sales. I love seeing it. You just never know what you're gonna find. But let's talk about number five. All right, at number five, we have this pair of Montgomery Ward Carpenter jeans. I believe these date from to the, about the 70s. I'm not a super expert on Montgomery Ward and you're probably asking yourself Montgomery Ward, what the heck? Yeah, the department store, uh, they made some jeans. Uh, there's some really old Montgomery Ward stuff, like the 101, I believe, that are pretty valuable. If you found them, I do not believe these are them at all. These are probably, the 101 is much older. But what is cool is kind of where the red tab would be for a pair of Levi's. You actually have the Garment Workers of America Union uh, logo here on a little tab. It's kind of cool. I don't exactly know the value of these. Um, like I said, I haven't done tons of research, but I got these for about a buck or so. Uh, so it's not a bad deal. Uh, definitely like to have them in the collection. Uh, it's cool to find some of these, you know, off-brand, so to speak, jeans and denim. Uh, just gets you a better history of the denim, denim story. Uh, but these are pretty cool pair of jeans. We'll see how they do. I expect probably between 30 and 40. Now at number four, we're back on brand for this pair of 517s. These are from 1990. Uh, they are orange tab. Uh, which is like a really popular pair of 517s right now. Um, they are a beautiful dark blue wash. It's really good to find some of these older jeans in the dark wash still. Um, these jeans, like I said, are pretty hot. It's a pretty good size. I mean, the measures around 34 inches, maybe 33 even. Um, but the orange tabs are doing really well right now. Uh, for whatever reason, I don't entirely know. Uh, I know that the boot cut style is coming back to some degree. And uh, I probably sold out uh, all of my orange tabs earlier this year as uh, vintage uh, whole, uh, buyers were buying them up and then other stores were buying wholesale from me. Uh, so it's nice to get a few replacements for all those that sold. I expect probably on the higher end for these between 40 and maybe even $60. All right, now at number three, we have this really cool t-shirt. Um, it's a ringer t-shirt. They call them ringer t-shirts because they have uh, little rings around the sleeve and around the neck here. Um, it's just, it's Steamboat. I don't know what Steamboat is. This is from 1982. This is a cool graphic. This seems like something you would probably see like in Urban Outfitters or Old Navy as a reprint, but this is like the OG. And the print is in fantastic condition. It's got this guy's skiing. I don't, again, I don't know what Steamboat has to do with it. The tag is a sportswear medium, uh, super thin, super dope. I think it's single stitch, yeah, single stitch down here. Uh, just a really cool t-shirt. I thought uh, the vibe is super nice. I'm sure someone will love this between 25 and $35. All right, at number two, we're going to a hard good. Yes, Josh bought a hard good. Um, and it's this guy right here. This big old train set. Lionel Rock Island Line electric train set. I believe these are from the 70s, um, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, a little uh, secondhand shop that I go into, had it for five bucks. A complete set sell around $200 even. Um, this is not, this is unfortunately not a complete set. It is missing the transformer on the inside, um, but it has a bunch of other parts um, and trains. I think that at the very least, if I lot it up and sell it just as the parts, the train, and the, and the tracks, I could probably get $100 from this uh, buy. So, pretty cool. All right, now before we get to the final item in this list, if you would be so kind, like this video and comment. Let us know what is your best find of the week at a thrift store or garage sale. We would love to hear from you guys. And if you would, subscribe to this channel. It would help us out immensely. All right, now at number one, we have this nearly 100-year-old book. Uh, this is The Conquest of Canaan by Booth Tarkington, who is a Pulitzer Prize winner, a uh, fairly well-respected author. Um, I found this at a yard sale, and it, it's from 1926. Uh, the, the, they wanted 50 cents for it, 
Um, so I'm like, a uh, nearly 100 year old book? I, of course I'm gonna pay 50 cents. Um, looks like it may have come out of a school library. Um, but either way, it's beautiful and super cool looking. I don't think it has a ton of value. And this is a pretty interesting topic because uh, I'm not a book reseller, I'm not very good with that. But it is important when you're looking at books, especially old books, especially the ones that are over 100, there is a market for it. Um, if they're signed, that obviously makes a huge deal. And if they're the first edition, you can get, you know, this might sell for $10 at the most, uh, but the first edition of this book would probably sell for nearly 100. So if you're out there looking at books that are nearly 100 years old or 100 years old, try to find out if the first edition, uh, if they are signed at all by the author, and you can probably flip it for a good amount of money. There are some books that sell for thousands of dollars because they are pretty amazing. So uh, definitely keep your eye out for old books. Again, this one is not super crazy expensive, uh, but I thought it was just a fun find. Uh, it was probably the, the coolest little find I think I had this week, um, especially at, from a garage sale. So that's the top five. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.